Hey guys, Wild Jason here, bringing you a, another World of Warcraft video, simply because I realized I left my game sound on on the previous fight while I was chatting with you guys a little bit. So, I don't know if I'm going to upload that one or not. I might, just because it showed the boss fight, but I'm kind of hard to hear. <laughs> so, i uh, going to go ahead and do another one here. Basically, talked briefly about some changes that are coming in Mist of Pandaria. Uh, a couple were announced and confirmed today. Uh, if I do upload the other video, some of this might be repeat, but I'm just basically going to talk to you guys while I play in the Looking for Raid here. Uh, as I mentioned in my previous vid video, uh, Looking for Raid is just retarded this late in the expansion pack. And by retarded, I mean retarded easy and stupid and just not a whole lot of fun. I do it because I can do it mindlessly. Uh, I don't have to try. Um, I don't have to pay attention to anything really I can survive pretty much any mechanic in the looking for raid um, by mindlessly hitting healing rain which is my AOA heal um, that's not good I don't like it uh, one of the reasons that I'm not playing World of Warcraft right now uh, is because the looking for raid is so stupid easy and uh, just not fun at the moment so uh, that's just my opinion Obviously, everybody has their own opinion on the state of the game. A um, bunch of people have asked me, especially in my real life, you know, since I'm playing more Star Wars than I am World of Warcraft, where do you think World of Warcraft is going? Where is it heading right now? Um, in its current state, I think it is obviously plateaued. Uh, it's obviously not increasing. They're losing subscribers on a monthly basis. Uh, and they're laying people off, which, you know, obviously a lot of those were GM-type positions where uh, they don't need those people right now. They're losing subscribers. There's not as many tickets to answer, things like that. No, World of Warcraft is not dying. It is simply plateaued. It is in a sit-and-wait hold pattern. We need more info on Missa Pandaria before people are going to make their decision or come back. Um, a lot of people have left or just unsubscribed for the moment because we don't know where the game's going right now. There's not enough official announcements out yet. And I think they're coming. They started here this week um, announcing a couple of the changes. Uh, one of the big changes for healers is I believe they are hinting at going towards a normalized mana pool, meaning uh, no longer are the days where some healer has 110,000 mana and somebody else has 130,000 mana. Um, we're all basically going to have a percentage. Um, you're going to have 100% uh, fixed mana pool, and a spell is going to cost 10% or 25%, whatever the case may be, whatever they decide fits. I don't know if I'm going to like it. Um, I'm just really tired of having to relearn to heal every expansion. Uh, so I may go DPS the next expansion the whole time. The only reason I play hybrid classes where I can heal and DPS or heal and tank uh, is simply so that I can get into groups faster with their dungeon finder system. It's not necessarily that I like it more. Um, it's really just a convenience factor for me. Uh, so we'll see how that plays out. Not sure if I'm going to like it. Not sure if I'm going to hate it. Maybe I will love it. Um, that's undetermined because there's not enough details out right now. Um, this particular fight, I'm obviously not going to be padding any healing meters. There's really not a lot of AoE damage. It's not really a stacking fight. Um, uh, makes it semi more interesting for me than the other fights to this point because I'm casting more than one spell. Um, not out of necessity, but out of the fact that I can. Um... You know, I'm just kind of heal sniping with my very small, very efficient heal and throwing lightning bolts when I feel like doing something. Um, otherwise, I'm just talking to you guys. Um, state of the game, sorry I went off on a little bit of a tangent. Um, it's definitely plateaued slash slight decline. Uh, it's in no danger of dying. There is a huge rumor going around that as soon as the year contracts expire, uh, World of Warcraft may go free to play either slightly before Miss of Pandaria or sometime during Miss of Pandaria um, or, you know, sometime at BlizzCon next year when they announce Project Titan. Uh, there's just a lot of rumor mills that it's going free-to-play and people seem to think that that's going to be the death of WoW. Uh, it's not. In fact, if anything, it's going to bring more people back to the game uh, because it's free. People will continue to play it. Um, Blizzard does not need World of Warcraft to grow their company anymore. World of Warcraft did its job. It put Blizzard 
on the map more so than they were before. Um, a lot of the hardcore gamers are going to say, no, Diablo did that or StarCraft did that. Nah, that's not true. World of Warcraft brought Blizzard into the mainstream. It made it a household name. Uh, it made, you know, my mailman know who Blizzard is. Uh, so World of Warcraft definitely placed them on the global map and the global market. Um, but they don't need that anymore. They've got Diablo 3 coming out. It's going to be huge for them. They've got the StarCraft 2 expansion pack coming out. It's going to be huge for them. And they have the ace in the hole right now. Um, they have Project Titan. And kudos to Blizzard. No one knows what Project Titan is other than the fact that it's an MMO and that they're claiming it's going to change gaming. Um... Maybe it will, maybe it won't. Maybe that's a bold claim, but Blizzard has never disappointed before. Uh, when they first came out with the idea of World of Warcraft, people were like, that can't work, there's already EverQuest. Well, World of Warcraft became a 12 million subscriber behemoth, so I'm not going to hold my breath that it can't happen, because I believe that it can. Uh, so we'll see. Kudos to Blizzard and their employees for keeping everyone in the dark, because I think that anticipation is going to be needed. Um, especially with the canceling of BlizzCon this year. Um, hopefully at the next BlizzCon, we will hear what Project Titan is in 2013, and we will get our first glimpse, so I'm pretty excited for that. I hope it happens. Uh, I don't know if it's going to happen, but I'm, I'm excited for it to happen if it does. Um, so we'll see what that is, and we'll see where it goes. Um... Not really much else to say here. The boss is already down, so I can't even really talk about what's happening. Uh, you guys are just watching me spin around in a circle right now. Um, you know, I'll take a look at my shaman here. He's not horrible geared. 377 in his resto gear. He's got some cruddy pieces and some mixed pieces. He's not my main. This is an alt, uh, and he's already completely over gearing all the content. Um, I've done hard modes uh, pre nerf, and then obviously we finished it post nerf. I wish we would have been able to get Madness down pre-nerf, but they nerfed it too soon, and uh, the guild decided not to turn the nerf off, so whatever. Uh, got it down, so kudos to the guild and everything. Um, not really much else to say in this video, guys. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, saw a little bit of looking for raid action, as boring as it is from a healer's perspective. Believe me, uh, I'm the one that had to play it. Uh, this is one of the reasons I'm not playing this game too much. Uh, luckily for me, I didn't PvP much this season at all, so I do have a mage main that I may make some PvP videos on, uh, but I have no PvP gear. It's horrendous how bad it is. I've got some blues off the auction house, and uh, my guy's by no means rich in the game. I'm a pretty poor character. Never really mastered the auction house or things like that. Uh, so, you know, I've got some blue PvP gear. I'm grinding some honor, see if I can get some PvP gear. Uh, maybe I'll make some Frost Mage videos. Um, unfortunately, there's a lot of people out there that are going to do it a million times better than me. So if I make it, it's going to be to sit here and have fun and chat with you guys. Uh, nothing less and nothing more. Uh, watch me blow some people up if I get lucky. So uh, that's pretty much this video, guys. Like I said, uh, you may have heard some of this conversation, or it may just be a slightly different version of my previous video. Uh, of a World of Warcraft looking for raid, and that's simply because I realized I left my game sound on, and it was a little difficult to hear me. I'll probably load them both up. Um, I haven't decided yet. I'm going to review them. I don't have any editing software, so I can't knock out that background noise, unfortunately. Uh, so that was a mistake on my part. So if you guys do watch it, kudos. Thanks for watching it. Uh, if you check this video out, uh, again, thanks a lot for checking it out. Uh, this is my Resto Shaman, uh, completely overgeared for looking for raid. Um, just kind of running around to chat to you guys and uh, mindlessly spam AOE heals. Uh, maybe I'll load up some of my DPS guys and we'll have some real fun and see if we can't chase some meters. Um, otherwise, have a great night, guys. Like and subscribe. Leave comments, whatever below. Uh, whatever you feel like doing. Uh, wow, Jason out.